recap Karna 5 and I'm gonna show you the eye racing results that I have so far as far as how many top 10s I have and top fives also so as you can see on the screen the ones in blue are the ones that I wanted to calculate as far as eye racing is concerned so I have ran a total of 365 eye races and as far as percentage on the right side top 10 overall 44 percent and top five eight percent so not a bad ratio so so the actual number on top is 162 top tens and 30 top fives so <clears throat> basically every money when i hop into my pc install i racing and Basically, I get top 10 after top 10 doing that, so doing it in my first try on that track is the way to grow, so let's start. So, as of January 31st to all the way back to 2022, here are all my iRacing stats, so whenever I can get these top 10s and top 5s, yeah, so these are in descending order, and basically I'm a clean racer, don't have issues with any of my competitors, and basically I just run all the laps, do what I can, and just do everything you can to be the best driver out there, so I'll give you a few seconds to see all these results, and then I'll go on to the next page. Okay, I'm ready. So, so here are my second page of results. And remember, these are all my top 10 finishes. So, from May 1st to August 17th of last year, yes. Not many top fives on there, so, with the exception of Southern National and Darlington. So it doesn't show you how many race cars I or drivers I went against. It's just that sometimes you just have to let go and just know that if there's not many competitors, then that's a good thing because. You don't have to crash into many people and know that it's not that hard to get around the track. So, yeah, these are a diverse amount of drivers. And, <coughs> excuse me. And I kind of look at straight from field as my baseline on who my competitors will be and whether or not I can win a race, so. And then there's that gap where I went against a thousand straight from field number, so. With the highest being 1,609 at Darlington Raceway when I was driving a Gen 4 Cup, so. And it was a top five, so that's a good thing. Give me a few seconds to See those results and I will move on to the next one. Okay, here we go. So here are the results. Third page of all my 162 top 10 in I racing. So and as you can see, this is the meat of where I got all my top five. So Talladega in the trucks, top five, I mean top five in trucks, top five in uh, Gen 4 Cup, which is Auto Club, and then I've got trucks and Talladega in their fourth, and then there's this um, outlier in which I won at Charlotte Motor Speedway in an Arca car, and I'll pinpoint the straight from field was 861, so... I was lucky to get a win and <laughs> realize that 
that race was an hour, so I'll give you a few seconds to see it, and then we'll move on to the next page. Okay. So here are more top fives that I got. This is Arca series at Dover. I wanted to do it twice because I wanted to build up my I rating, so and then I got that win at the Daytona International Speeding Driving in in the Xfinity series. And then I got a top five in trucks at Daytona, so it was a good week to be driving a truck in Xfinity for me, so and then the I the strength of the field was 517 in trucks, 712 in Xfinity, so I was still racing against lower level drivers, so that's when my I rating skyrocketed, so wait a few seconds for you to read these results. Let's move on to the next one. And then here I am in Thompson Speedway, got a pole, led a few laps, and, but I lost to Corbin C, which he raced me clean, and I don't think I have a video of it, but you can see my YouTube playlist to see if you can find it, but So I'll give you a few seconds to see these results again. <laughs> it's 101 out of 120, 225 of those top 10s. So let's ready to move on. So we're almost done compiling all these top 10s that I got out of those 162 of them. So this was rookie class. So. I can, as you can see, is NA. So this was based off of the year 2022. So yeah, I, I was still struggling to find my footing, but the, as you can see, the strength of field was still in the thousands. So yeah, that's probably why my results were kind of low. So. And I was learning the tracks, so basically just trying to learn everything about these cars. So yeah, give you a few seconds. Okay, let's move on. Here's the last page. So I think as far as seven pages of all these top tens. Yeah, my first race was USA International Speedway in Florida, I believe, and basically it's just being the best driver out there, and luckily enough, strength of field wasn't that bad, and just learning these tracks again, and my first top five was Southern National Motorsports Park in a street stock, so that's good, maybe because there was no cautions on so and then my in rookie legend cars I started fourth finished eighth so what do you guys think about all these top tens that I got in I racing so so as of February fifth twenty twenty four those are all the top tens I got and basically is this yep I'm getting trying to catch my breath <laughs> all these top fives and top tens I got weren't that bad at all so it's basically then on all this race results I got on iRacing for a year now so 
I'm Nick Capricorn FM. Hope you all have a great day and peace out.